In this screencast video lecture, we will see about the regulation of gene expression in the prokaryote. It is also having some relation there with the transcription and translation process that have been taking place at the molecular level. From the viewpoint of energetics, an efficiency could be accomplished by controlling the initiation of transcription. That is, this regulation is mainly to prevent the unnecessary use of nucleotide triphosphate and consequent energy cost that is required for the synthesis of the protein. In general, in the living organism, several genes are expressed constitutively. That is, without any control of the levels of mRNA that have been produced other than the strength of the promoter. A classic example here for this is a genes that are required for synthesis of several enzymes associated with the glycolysis process. There are also a large number of genes for which the ability of RNA polymerase to initiate the transcription is controlled by other proteins that respond to the external signals of the cell. Control at the level of transcriptional initiation could be divided into two classes that is based on the environmental signals that facilitates the transcriptional initiation which is referred as a positive regulation and they may able to interfere with the transcriptional initiation that is called as a negative regulation. As we already seen a gene or an operon can be regulated negatively under one set of conditions and positively under another. Both the forms of regulation can involve small signaling molecules which are referred as effect effector molecules that regulate the multiple operons that have been scattered throughout the bacterial chromosomes. For instance, in E. coli, at least 237 operons seems to exist. Some common operons include the lac operon that is required for lactose metabolizing, trip operon that is required for tryptophan utilization and a gal operon that may be required for galactose utilization. Now, we will try to look at the explanation of the operon. Many protein coding genes in the bacteria are clustered together in the form of operon. So, what is a operon? They are one or more genes that are transcribed into a single mRNA under the control of a single regulatory site. Say for example, you look at the operon structural genes that have been shown there in the downside. It consists of three genes that is gene Z, gene Y and gene A. They are all coding for different kinds of proteins. So, when this particular DNA is getting transcribed into mRNA, they will have one or more proteins that have been produced when they are subjected to translation. All these genes are under the control of a single regulatory site. So, this is a single regulatory site in which it has been controlled. Mainly the operator region is the one which controls the expression of this particular gene. Opron serves as a transcriptional units that are coordinately regulated for transcription of genes involved in specific metabolic pathways. These oprons are commonly come across there in the prokaryotic organism. It was first discovered in 1961 by Jacob and Monod. They are the person who has proposed a model about the operation of the opron mainly for the regulation of the transcription process. Now, we try to look at what are the components commonly present in a, any kind of a opron. Any opron will be having a structural gene, it will be having an operator site and it will be having a regulatory gene. If you look at in the downside, you can able to see the set of structural genes. Say for example, gene Z, gene Y and gene A. Gene Z is the one which is coding for beta galactosidase enzyme whereas gene Y is coding for beta galactosidase permease to take the beta galactoside inside the cell system. And the third one is a structural gene that is coding for a beta galactoside transacetylase. All these genes could be grouped together as a structural genes. So, definition for structural gene is a set of genes that are encoding proteins that are involved in a specific biosynthetic pathway whose expression is coordinately regulated. Say for example, whatever genes I have listed so far are essentially required there in the lac opron mainly to utilize the lactose sugar. 
The next one is an operator site, which is a stretch of DNA sequence at which the effector molecules binds and regulates the transcription of the structural genes. So, what are effector molecules? The following are the list of effector molecules that may be acting there in the operator site. So, effector molecules refers to small molecule that can be able to exert an effect on the transcription of the genes through regulating the structural gene. These molecules are divided into repressor molecules, co-repressors and activator molecules. What is a repressor molecule? It is a DNA binding protein that regulates the expression of one or more genes by binding to the operator and thereby blocking the attachment of the RNA polymerase to the promoter. Thus, the repressor attachment there to the operator will lead to preventing the transcription of the genes. The next one is a co-repressor. It is again a small molecule, especially an amino acid that may bind to the transcription factor. The transcription factor is exactly here the repressor molecule, which in turn binds to the DNA and decreases the gene expression. An interesting point here is the co-repressor is unable to bind directly to the DNA by itself. It always need a transcriptional factor such as a repressor to bind that to the DNA molecule. Example, tryptophan is a co-repressor that is acting in the tripoprom system. The next one is an activator. It is a DNA binding protein that regulates one or more genes by increasing the rate of transcription. The example is catabolite activator protein. The next one is a regulatory gene. It refers to a gene that encodes a protein that recognizes the operator sequence. Say for example, in the downside diagram, if you check it, you can able to see a repressor protein that have been encoded by a regulatory gene that can able to bind to and regulates on the operator region of the gene. 